Welcome to SDN Tech Forum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SDABC package on a Cisco cloud service router. I'm using CSR 1KB for this demonstration purpose. Uh, you need certain um, uh, specification like 8 GB of RAM, minimum 8 GB of RAM, 8 vCPUs, and 16 GB uh, of hard disk space. So if you do show verb, you can see your features. And I have already transferred the OVA file downloaded from Cisco website to my boot flash. So uh, while installation, if you don't have sufficient memory or space available, uh, the installation will not go through. And you will, if you do show log, you can see it out complaining about it. So now let's go ahead and install uh, the package. The package installation, as I have discussed, as we discussed in earlier video, is a couple of commands, only a few command. SD ABC install package, and then the package location. Uh, it will actually install the package. So you can see uh, the package is in installing state. Uh, give it a couple of minutes, and then the package will go from installing to installed state. So I pause the video, and now it is in installed state. So once the package is installed, now we are good uh, good to go ahead and activate the package but before we go ahead and activate the package i want to show you what is the configuration it will generate right so uh, as a part of this uh, sdabc install so the command what we are going to use is uh, uh, preview so we are going to assign uh, ip address for our service uh, interface or a gateway interface uh, which will be front end of this SDABC container. And this is the uh, configuration it is going to generate. It's going to uh, roll out a virtual port group and a gateway IP address for that port group. Now you can see uh, uh, I initiated a command activate instead of preview. Now this time we are saying activate and the activation is under process. So if you check the status, it will say uh, service SDABC is installed configuring and activating uh, wait for five to uh, uh, ten minutes before it get uh, activated and now it is activated so uh, our container is uh, installed and now it uh, GUI should be available for, for view that I will I'm going to walk you through in the next video thank you